guys. We're testing the Jeep today. Me and my boy Will right here. We're gonna test and we are going to test the amp roll. We're basically gonna clamp my awls today and we're gonna see what kind of amperage we're putting out. So first you're gonna need a little meter right here. So we got it. You can get it from what, Harbor Freight? Harbor Freight for $100. Harbor Freight for $100. Find up to 1,000 amps. Find up to 1,000 amps. And we're going to put it on the positive wires coming off of the alternators. It'll make sure it's closed. It's going to help us test for, uh, see how much power our alternator is putting out. Just to tell if we got one bad alt or not. We're going to use this and we're going to test. Alright guys, so we got it hooked up right here. We gotta actually turn the switch on. We got amps on or the alts on, so we got everything running. So what'd you say again, Will? We're trying to get about what 400, 450? About 450 at either between the two walls. That's right kind of you get about 26. So 26. So that's because it's right at 15.8. It doesn't really have a strain on the alt. Once we get the thumping, it should go up some more. If it doesn't, then something might be wrong with one of the alts. We got to test some guys. So stay tuned, and we're gonna see what we get. We're seeing about 92. Right up here, that was the max that we're seeing. So what we're gonna do right now is unplug this CES one right here, this 370, unplug the pigtail, and we're gonna just try clamping the Brand X 300 and seeing if we're getting 92 amps from this one. If we are, that just means the CES one is not working and not putting out. If it does split the amperage between both, then that means they are both putting out, and that's what we're gonna try to do a test on and see real quick, so stay tuned for that. All right, so we ended up with 92 amps of charge, which obviously that's not really what you want to do when I'm revving it for both of these two combined. So somewhere there's got to be something going on. Maybe one of the alts, this one is externally regulated. This was internally regulated. Maybe that has something to do with it, throwing it off. Maybe. I'm thinking they're fighting each other. Yeah, something's going on with it. Because we unplugged the CES one. And we clamped just the brand X one. And what would you say it was doing by itself? 79 by itself. So something could be going on with it, with this CES one being internally regulated. So it'd probably would just be better just to have two of these brand X ones. Clean up some of the wire and make everything look nicer. But yeah guys, that's basically how you want to clamp your alts. So the process is one you need something like that from Harbor Freight. Go in front of a little tool right here, it's a little like a little clamp meter. What do you want to set it to? Uh, you got two different input uh, ranges. You got 600 amps and you got 1,000 amps. Okay. Obviously, if you want to clamp closer to 1,000, leave it at that one. If you want to be under 60 or 600, then you leave it at that one. Okay. So you want to set it like that. And you want to put this on what? The positive or the alternator, correct? Yeah. So this will be one of the positives on mine. And basically, what you want to do is play some music and try to put a load on the alternators and kind of see what they're putting out. And that's going to kind of determine how much one or two alternators is putting out. Make sure you try to clamp it all the way around the wire. And make sure it's a good fit and it should tell you about what you're doing. So yeah guys, that's what we got. So we kind of got a problem up here. We're going to try to solve it. Not getting a lot of uh, alternator output. Charging it back up. So we'll see. We'll address that. Now we're going to do some more testing. And kind of see what we're going to do as far as amplifiers. Alright? So stay tuned guys hey guys so it's a different day it's the next day <clears throat> what we basically came to figure out was we think this ces alternator right here is just not putting out enough power it could be because this one like i said they're both this one is internally regulated this one's externally regulated and over here i have a little switch and a knob right over here in the corner where you can turn the externally regulated alt so we're thinking they're fighting against each other <coughs> but i'm not 100 percent sure we did clamp it, and we were only getting about 70 to 80 amps of current, even when we unplugged this one. So we think this one is just not doing what it should. So we came to the conclusion is I think I'm going to buy another 300 XX, or I think it's XL, and I'm going to put two of them up here just so they're matching, and they're going to output the same amount of power. Because we should be seeing, you know, two to 400 amp of amps from both of these alts. This one is rated at 300. And this one is rated at 370. So you should at least be seeing quite a bit at idle. So, yeah, guys, that's what we kind of came up with. Stay tuned. We might make another video on how to install a secondary uh, alternator. We'll see. I'll show you guys what's going on. I have another video coming out later this week about what we did testing. 
not the greatest results. So just stay tuned, guys. Got big news coming. We're going to do some stuff soon.